Hello and welcome everybody to the Star Ledger and NJ.com's previews of this weekend's high school football state championship games alongside Mike Kinney. Mm -hmm. I'm Mike Vorkanov and uh, Saturday, South Jersey Group 1 title game. Mm -hmm. Early in the morning, after everyone gets That's their right. Wawa, settles right. down for a long day wow, of football. Yeah, good job with that. I, I know Wawa. what they get. That a boy. I, I wish they had it in North Jersey. Yeah, I know, right? It's so good. Yeah, we're gonna go uh, quick check. You know. <laughs> quick check's all right, no problem. It's, yeah, no, no, it's quick yeah. check's good. Yeah. It's just no Wawa. Yeah, or Krausers or something like that. But Wawa is cool. Oh, it's yeah, great. Absolutely. I love it. Um, get a great sandwiches at Wawa and the iced coffee. Yeah. I'm still looking for a sub, though, not a hoagie. They call them hoagies. I'm looking. I look for That's a sub. That's the only divide. Right. Exactly. We can get over that. I think so. It's good. Tastes good. Yeah. So Saturday, 10 o'clock at Rowan, top seed of Pennsville. Mm -hmm. They're facing second seed of Glassboro. Yeah. Glassboro coming in at 9-2, Pennsville 10-1. and one. Pennsville won in the regular season. Yes, they did. Put up 55 on them. Oh. 55 points on October 28th, right. a 20-point win over Glassboro. But that was the last time Glassboro lost mm -hmm. coming into That's this. That's right. They've, They've won three titles since 2007. What are they going to see if they want to get number four, and what are they going to have to do to stop Pennsville? They're gonna have to, they're gonna have to send Dylan Cummings, the quarterback from Pennsville, <laughs> to the Wawa to pick up some hoagies for them during the game time because that, that, this kid is tremendous. Glassboro knows all about him. Glassboro's secondary has to be ready. Their secondary is very good. Glassboro, they're really really good. Ronnie James, Leighton Hoxie, these guys are tough. They're good, but I tell you what, Dylan Cummings knew his way around them when they played them last time. He banged them for 55. This kid is the point gatherer. He's got 2,800 yards passing, 34 touchdowns. He uses his receivers very well. He's a smart, veteran, tough quarterback. Tough job for Glassboro to stop him. Glassboro, 28-4 win over Salem in the first round. Yeah. How do you score four points? That's kind of bad. I'd be yeah. angry about that. Yeah, well. Two yeah. safeties? Yeah, exactly. 28-14 over Haddon Heights. Safety two-run double, you know. 28-14 <laughs> over Haddon Heights in the semis. Right. So... They can score, but they've got a pretty good defense They're as well. playing good defense, exactly right. They're playing very good defense, and that's been the key. Since that Pennsville game, mm -hmm. they've been excellent defensively. If they can keep that up, put a little pressure on Dylan Cummings that he's not going to be prepared for, he'll be prepared, but he's not really expecting. If they can do that and, and frustrate him a little bit in that first quarter, it could be a different game. And Corey Clement, a pretty good running back for them. Corey Clement is a very, very good running back. He's a kid who can get it done. He can get out there and beat and, and get into that second you know, phase of defense and, and have a foot race with the, with, the, with the defensive backs all day long. Long and he's very strong. So Glassboro, three titles since 2007. Right. Going for number four, trying to avenge a loss yep. on October 28th, Saturday, 10 o'clock, the early game at Rowan. Mm -hmm. South Jersey Group 1 state title. Who will take it down? Might be tough to pass at 10 o'clock in the morning. And you don't want to bet on, against Glassboro. You mm -hmm. know, you're pretty much a dummy if you bet, get, bet against Glassboro at this stage. I've done it before, and they fooled me, and they won. Are you going to do it again? Corey's, I, I, Mr. Co Dylan, Dylan's not going to the, to, to the Wawa for this one. He's going to be on the field ready to throw the ball. Yeah, I think Pennsville can get it done again, and I think they can beat Glassboro for this. All right. It'll be a huge win for them. So we'll see what happens. South Jersey Group 1 state championship game Saturday, 10 o'clock at Rowan. We'll see what happens then. For now, thanks for joining us. Alongside Mike Kinney, I'm Mike Vorkanoff. Make sure you follow our coverage all week and all weekend long on NJ.com and in the Star Ledger.